is Lauren Vanny and I'm a professor in the Fine Arts program at Cecil. I would like a new student to know that we have expert faculty that really care about our students. They, uh, they stay late after class, they meet students before class, they are artists, practicing artists in the field, they're passionate about teaching and they're also passionate about their art. We also have program tracks in ceramics, drawing and painting, and graphic design. We have two new throwing courses. Uh, one is Wheel Thrown Ceramics 1 and one is three, Wheel Thrown Ceramics 2. And these are new courses that were requested by students and um, the work that's coming out of these classes is really outstanding. Um, and they also help our, our pottery sales that happen twice a year. Our students are donating higher quality work and better quality work and getting the experience of what it's like to be in a pottery sale and participate. We also just recently purchased and we're really excited about a brand new Raku kiln. And Raku is a Japanese firing technique and students can uh, fire right, on, right here at Elkton Station in their brand new kiln and we're really excited about it. We encourage our students to interact with the community and get involved. And so we just recently finished a major community project with the um, Elkton Senior Center. Every Friday for a year pretty much we've worked on this piece and uh, we're really excited with how it turned out. It's called um, Through Time and Space. We also have the First Friday exhibits which is part of the Elkton Arts Loop. Every month we'll have a different artist and we'll have either a student show or we'll bring in an artist and it's a great opportunity for students to work with the professionals that are coming in to see what it's like to hang a professional show but they'll participate in the hanging of their own show and the fine art student exhibit that happens twice a year. We had students that recently participated in Unity in the Community Day um, and our ceramic students taught young children how to use the pottery wheel and those students are going to remember that experience for a long time to come. So it was a great day and our students got a lot out of participating and helping these students learn. The faculty is really involved with the community as well. The faculty has had a show at the Palette and the Page right here in Elkton on Main Street and uh, we've also had faculty shows here at the Elkton Station Gallery and actually that's an annual event now. It's called a Spotlight on Cecil Arts Faculty and it will happen in February of every year. So this upcoming February all of our art faculty will participate and it's a really great chance for the community to come in and parents and prospective students and current students and see what, what, the, what their faculty is making. And last year the Arts and Visual Communications Department collaborated with Cecil County Public Schools so that they could hold part of their winter show here at Elkton Station and we had a great turnout and they had their ceremony here for awards. So I think the future is really bright and really exciting. Already we've been really excited about all of the different artists that we've brought in and the different student shows like the one around me right now. I'm uh, Dan Krakowski, uh, director of the Visual Communications Program here at Cecil College. We have a fantastic visual communications program with lots of different program options for students. We have our professional photography degree uh, during which students take courses in studio photography, nature photography, photojournalism, and portrait photography. We have a video and film production program where students use the latest in industry technology to create uh, short films, documentaries, commercials. They also go into the studios and use green screen and other motion effects. We have both a web design and a web development degree for students who are interested in pursuing careers in those information technologies. We have our graphic design and multimedia degree. In this design track, students create things like magazine layouts, DVD menus, and interactive interfaces. Our newest program track is our simulation and game design degree, where students can create 3D models, which they can then take into game designs that they create. We also have an incredible lab facility uh, with all of the industry standard equipment. Not only equipment, but we have an incredible lab staff. They're always there, they're always cheerful, they're always willing to help students get their hands on that equipment and learn to use it correctly. There's always something new happening in the Visual Communications program. Uh, we have a very active student club. They have competitions and uh, st stage events all over campus. Uh, we take field trips to New York City and other locations for photography shoots throughout the year. We have exhibits for students all over the region. Um, we have a continuing rotating exhibit at Unwind in Northeast. 
We have several exhibits at the Pallet and Page in Elkton throughout the year. And most recently we've been invited, or students have been invited to exhibit at Colorworks in Wilmington. We also have three big student exhibits here on campus at the end of every semester, so winter, spring, and summer. And those are pretty big events. We usually have over 500 people come in and see the work. We also, as a program, do a lot with the community. We have a great relationship with our regional middle and high schools. Twice a year we invite them to come on campus and spend a day with us uh, doing workshops in all of our different degree fields. And for the high school students, um, we also have a, a critique session at the end of those workshops. Um, I, I think the students find it very beneficial to come onto campus and see that, you know, college isn't that scary. We also send our faculty out to art classes in the region, uh, in middle and high schools, uh, to do seminars with the classes and with those instructors uh, to help support what lessons they're doing in their classrooms. We also have internship programs going on throughout the year for our students, pairing you know, their degree track up with an industry in the area, such as video production, graphic design, photography, so students can go out and spend some time working in the field and getting that experience that's so crucial. I think probably the biggest challenge we face in visual communications is that it is a ever-changing degree field uh, or industry. Uh, so keeping up with the technology and the new techniques um, is a constant task, but it's also what keeps it so exciting. What does the future of visual communications hold? Uh, I think it's a career field that continues to evolve, and I think we're going to see more and more job tracks open up uh, as visual communications becomes more and more a part of our everyday life experience. My name is Andrew Dickinson, and I'm a music instructor here at Cecil College. Uh, I teach many of the music classes, such as music theory, music appreciation, and I also teach a lot of the gen ed music courses, and I also teach guitar lessons. For students here at Cecil, um, we offer a lot of options for both music majors and non-music majors. So if you'd like to be a music major, you can take the core classes here, such as music theory or applied lessons and other things like that. And once you transfer to a four-year school, then you'll be able to use the credits from Cecil and apply them towards your four-year degree. Or you might be a business major who just wants to learn to play flute, and uh, you can still take flute lessons even though you're not a music major. If you talk to anyone in the performing arts business, then everyone has a different story to tell, and everyone has a different path, and everyone has a different interest in what they're doing. And so we know that the students, when they come here, are gonna have a lot of different interests. And so um, we have classes and programs that really cater to people, whether they want to be music performance, um, whether they want to be music education, uh, whether they want to do uh, music technology, and even different styles of music. You know, if you want to do classical or jazz or rock or popular music, there's all kinds of options. We like to offer a lot of variety because we know that students have so many different interests. At Cecil, we also integrate a lot of technology into our uh, classes. We have a brand new piano lab um, that's been great to work with. We also incorporate the iPad, iPhone, Apple TV into our courses as well. We also use uh, notation software called uh, Sibelius and in the future we'll be using a lot more recording software. GarageBand is a very common one, uh, Pro Tools, so we'll be incorporating all of that into our classes. In the theater program we've made um, a lot of changes to the program itself and it's a a lot more streamlined, a lot better for students when they're transferring. We offer classes in performance, and so the students will get on stage, they'll be working on scenes and monologues. They'll also be working on full plays um, within our program. But we also have classes uh, that involve directing, classes involving movement on stage, and other aspects of performance. Coming up, we're also going to be offering a design degree, so students who are interested in stage management or building sets or directing or anything, lighting, um, anything kind of behind the scenes, we're going to be offering degrees for those as well. Um, because just as with music, uh, we also have acting students, theater students who are interested in a lot of different uh, aspects of the theater industry. And try to have the 
students perform as much as possible. Uh, performing is an integral part of your musical training. And so we have students performing here at Elkton. Uh, we have students performing over in Northeast. We also have them performing in the community in a lot of different ways. Over here at Elkton, uh, we have uh, the first Friday events, and many of the events include student performances. Um, over at Northeast, um, they have musicals several times a year, and so we have students both singing and acting in the musicals, and we also have students performing in the pit band for the musicals. We also have uh, students who perform uh, background music for art galleries, um, background music for libraries, hospitals, and uh, doing a lot of uh, different outreach to bring people into, to, to bring music and help enrich their lives in the community. I really feel like this is a time of growth for the Performing Arts Department. Um, the music department started off very small. We were offering, only offering a few classes and we were offering guitar lessons at the very beginning. And since then we've grown. Uh, we started offering voice lessons and then we hired a woodwinds instructor. And then this past summer, we hired a strings instructor and a piano instructor and a percussion drum instructor. And then uh, finally this spring, we're, we're now hiring a brass instructor. And so at this point, we can really offer all the instruments. And you don't have to be a, uh, an 18-year-old student to do that. Um, we also offer uh, classes for 8-year-olds. You know, if a 10-year-old wants to come in here and, and learn to play piano, um, we can do that. If you're a 60-year-old and you want to come in here and learn to play a saxophone, then we can do that. We also have had a lot of students that have been very successful since graduating. We've had uh, graduates that have gone to Peabody Conservatory. They've also transferred to Towson University, Shepherd University, University of Delaware, all kinds of different places. And we've also had students who uh, have gone on and have very successful performing careers. They're performing in clubs, uh, in Chicago and New York. Um, they still come back to Delaware and, and uh, perform in Delaware and Maryland. Some of those students are really performing actively. And in fact, we also have a student who graduated from here, transferred to Lebanon Valley College, and now he's back here teaching at Cecil College. Uh, we've had students that have been very successful after graduating from here, and we feel that we can really cater to all these different interests and really help help them reach the next level, whatever that level is. Whatever path they want to take, we can really help them get there.